This is my reaction to Nick of Time in 1995, Trailer 1. Let's commence. Jack Sparrow. Can I see some identification, sir? What name is Excuse me? ID. Who is this, sir? Chosen. Who are you? Chance. Come with us, sir. Chosen by chance. I'd like to know what's going on first. It's cause a ruckus, sir. Not with a little girl alone. Ma'am, with me. Listen. Ma'am, I'll take my daughter. Driven by fear. Pay attention. Ow. You listening, Ow. Mr. Watson? Yes. This is for you. In it, there's a picture of a woman and an itinerary. You will take this and you will... Pictures in there. I will do no such thing. Yes, you know, Mr. Watson. It's now 12, 16. If the woman in the picture is alive at 1.30, I call my partner. It's the woman in the picture. Or your daughter. Oh, my God. You're wasting time. Please, I don't have much time. I need your help. I'm not a bartender. I don't want to hear it. There's a little girl in a van. She's my daughter. What are you dragging me into? Everybody's involved in this. I've been watching. You go do it. You're gonna be a hero, Daddy. What are you gonna do? The security people may be involved. I'm gonna do whatever I have to. Hurry up. I don't think we should go through with this. It's too late for that now. Paramount Pictures presents. Let's go. Johnny Depp. Just remember the fan. Christopher Walken. You're like a worm on a hook, wiggling around, thinking you might get off. I am honored to present Governor Eleanor Grant. Nick of Time. Real terror. Time's up! I enjoyed how the trailer became progressively more frenetic and chaotic and it just gives you a little bit of an insight as to what to expect from this film ladies and gentlemen Nick of Time from 1995. Now I'm not gonna sit here and claim that I didn't enjoy the heck out of this movie. This movie is awesome. I don't care if Rotten Tomatoes has it at like 30% or something. I mean, fresh. I mean, that's awful. It's Rotten Tomatoes rating is awful. It got some awful reviews upon release back in the mid-90s. Young Johnny Depp here, ladies and gentlemen, playing a mild-mannered accountant called Gene Watson, who along with his daughter Lynn arrives and all of a sudden they just thrust they foisted into this conspiracy ladies and gentlemen that's all you can call it a conspiracy by this vast network of freaking goofy heels who want to get rid of the governor the governor eleanor grant i mean what can johnny do he is put in an impossible situation here ladies and gentlemen to his credit this character tries to get his way, tries to finagle, tries to maneuver his way out of the situation it's in. I think the film does a great job of placing you in that situation, making you wonder how you would react if some freaking idiot came up to you and forced you into this situation. It's something worth thinking about. I think Johnny Depp is solid in this film. He's somewhat unremarkable, but that's what the role asks for. And I think he does it relatively well. Christopher Walken is just Christopher Walken. The man has a built-in charisma. And as a villain, I mean, for the most part, he's been typecast as a villain in his career. And this is just one of those typical Christopher Walken, over-the-top, villainous performances. But it works. The man chews on the scenery. He uses tomato sauce. He uses sprinkles, light sprinkles of cheese as he chews on the scenery. But that's fine. He's earned that right. Even back in 1995, Christopher Walken had earned that right. Outside of Johnny Depp, Christopher Walken and Charles S. Dutton, the film also stars Roma Mafia. Nice turn by her as the other villain of the piece. Along with Mr. Smith, she's Mrs. Jones. I mean, come on, they're just a bunch of nerds, these villains. How dare they do this to Johnny, Captain Jack, Sparrow, Depp. I mean, come on, he doesn't deserve this. His daughter doesn't deserve this either. They're just decent people. And, and these idiots just put them in an impossible situation. That is no fair. Along with them, 
of course, we have Marsha Mason, Peter Strauss, Gloria Rubin, J.D. Spradlin, Bill Smitrovich from Life Goes On, Hul Vasquez, Edith Diaz, and Courtney Chase. I want to talk to film goers from the mid-90s, from 1995. How dare you? How dare you not show up in droves to watch this film? This film was a box office bomb, ladies and gentlemen. It cost $33 million to make, and it only managed to make $8 million. For me personally, I think it's unfair that this film gets such a bad rep. And it does a great job of ratcheting up the suspense and the tension gradually, but also like in spurts, in bursts. I think this film does an excellent job of utilizing the real-time gimmick, which we would later see utilized by Kiefer Sutherland in 24. But this film does it in a very effective way. It's economical with its set pieces. And I think the performances, for the most part, are solid across the board. And it just, it works for me. It works for me. So that's why I'm so offended by the fact that my fellow human beings did not go out to support this one in the mid-90s and make this one a hit. It's just unfortunate, you know. It didn't find an audience at the time that could appreciate what it was trying to do. This was directed by John Badham. And what a list of movies that guy made. I mean, just try to think back. Bird on a Wire, Blue Thunder, Saturday Night Fever, Short Circuit. John Badham made some awesome movies back in the day, ladies and gentlemen. And in my opinion, Nick of Time was another positive notch on his belt. It was another great flick. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm upset still that people didn't appreciate this thing. Not then, and I don't even know if it has enough of a sort of a cult fan base now. I don't think people even really maybe appreciate it now, despite Johnny Depp's subsequent popularity. I mean, people have to go back and reevaluate this one. Come on, I'm asking you to go back watch this reevaluated and just absolutely take it for what it is it's just a fast paced genuinely exciting and tense action thriller from the mid 90s and it works it works man nick of time is a gem of a thriller and it deserves to be reevaluated it deserves a second chance come on give this flick a second chance you've got nothing to lose